Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new type of video on my channel. I am doing a Sims 4 sort of let's build. Yeah, so I got inspired. I wanted to start making videos like this. I'm getting a bit into The Sims. I have never done a creative build like this, not even off camera, but I suddenly decided I wanted to. I'll tell you what the main inspiration was. Um, if you're here because you're into The Sims, you probably already know of this person. Um, that's James Turner, The Sims Supply. He's great. He's on YouTube. Look him up. Uh, watch my video first though. Don't don't just click away. Um, yeah, so he has been inspiring me to get creative in The Sims and I thought, let's make videos of it. Why not? So yeah, as you can see, um, we're already quickly into the main structure of the build. I wanted to go for something a little bit modern. Um, in my head, I was like, I'm going to do a modern build, but I didn't know how good I was going to be at actually building. The most I've ever done in The Sims is sort of rectangle building, practical, he's my bathroom and that's it really, not, not really thought much more of it than that. Um, so yeah, I went for slanty roofs like this, roofs, 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 and I thought it worked quite well and I messed around a lot um, at the beginning with the roof sort of style, you can see me doing it here, I ended up going back to the roof that I originally had, the roof tiles that I originally had, um, and even to the end of the build I was unsure if I'd picked the right walls for the outside. I'm not sure if they worked for a modern build. I felt like it was a bit too beach hutty. Um, but in the end, it, it does it does look okay. Um, yeah, I changed the colour a bunch of times, then just go back with the original colour because it did look the best. Yeah, um, I was really happy what I did, by the way, at the front there with the door. You just missed it, but um, you'll see it later on in the video where I had the two tall windows next to the front door. I thought it looked really cool and it did work with the sort of modern theme I wanted to do. Here I am playing around with extend in the back there because I realised I need a little bit more room and I sort of wanted that sort of longer part of the build where the front door is to extend to the back as well. Yeah I jump around a lot on this um, because I've never really done it before so I end up going oh I'll do the kitchen which is what I'm doing now and then I'm like oh I didn't finish doing the exterior walls so then I go back to it but I think it's okay. Um, yeah so I played around a lot here, I put the cabinets in and I thought white probably looks better and I liked the white with the black fridge so I went with that. Yeah, I, I was trying to be like, I want this to be modern. Um, and it kind of is in the end, I think, but it's not what was in my head. And I think that's just too ambitious for my first project. So I just went with what I thought looked nice in the end. And it, it's kind of modern. I think it's okay. Um, so yeah, here I am placing the kitchen. You see here, I um, I move them, like, yeah, I move them forwards because I didn't want the little back bit to intersect the window. It was in the way of the window before, but it does mean those two counters are sticking out. So I couldn't, I couldn't work out which I preferred more, like blocking the window a little bit or just sticking out a little bit. I went with sticking out a little bit and they seem okay. So yeah, I went with that in the end. Um, yeah, and then I, um, then I discovered decorations, like scatter decorations and I was over the moon. So here I am putting in, you saw the dog biscuits there just going in. After this point, I'm like, right, this is going to be, I'd already decided it was going to be sort of a holiday home you book for two. Um, but what I hadn't decided was also dogs are welcome. So once I found those dog biscuits, it reminded me of a cottage I'd stayed in where I went there. Um, I didn't have a dog with me at the time, but I went there, booked it with a bunch of people and they had stuff like dog biscuits out and um, a ball and a leader in case you've forgotten your leader for your doggy. Um, and it was just really nice and dog friendly. So I was like, okay, I'm doing that, but sort of modern looking. So yeah, there's going to be a few sort of, not much, but a couple of things that relate to dogs here and there. Um, yeah, here I am in the, the bedroom now, um, putting in some windows and stuff. Um, now, I spent a long time, I've cut a little bit out, um, looking at sort of walls and carpets here, because I just really couldn't decide. Um, but in the end, I wanted to do sort of a feature wall, um, but rather than it being wallpaper, just, yeah, like that, exactly. One block colour, but I didn't like the red, so I changed this in a bit. Um, you'll see I go with purple in the end. Um, and when I did it, I was still not sure if it was the right way to go. Once I'd finished the build, I was perfectly happy with it. I think that's probably going to be a common theme for me. I'll be like, oh no, it doesn't look right. Then I'm finished. I'll be like, nah, it's fine. I think it's good. But yeah, if anybody's got any tips for that kind of stuff, would really like to hear them in the comments because I'm here because I want to learn and improve how to build and stuff. I want I want to be really good at it. Um, and I think I did an okay job at my first attempt. So there's a lot of times in this video and this build where I was very indecisive about what wallpaper or paint or floorboards to put down. And I do think that the more I do these kind of builds, the more that won't happen because I'll remember certain 
walls I want to use or certain floors and I'll get more used to the items as well and what's available so I think that be, that will get better and um, I picked those doors I thought they were quite dark in the end and I wasn't sure if they were right but I just want, wanted plain wooden doors um, and that's what I, I went for Um the bed yep yeah, that I, I I struggled a bit because I was like none of these beds seem modern and I think I just had this thing in my head that this is going to be a modern build and I got a bit hung up on it but then I went with this simple bed in the end and I actually thought it looked okay um, and it didn't look old fashioned or anything. The only thing is I think the wood for that particular one is a little bit dark but I wanted this sort of purpley pink colour because I thought it went better with the walls than any of the others looked at bedside cabinets for a bit um i end up not going with those ones at all here i'm just seeing if i can get because i wanted that particular wood color on the bedside cabinet could i get a bed that matched the, the color but i couldn't so i went with these bedside cabinet draw things which look just like the ones i have from ikea actually but i have a different color and by that i mean in real life um later on when i come back to the bedroom because i'm not done here um I use the chest of drawers or the vanity cabinet. I don't know what you call it. The dresser, that's it. I use the dresser which matches those and put that in the, the right hand side. You'll see that later. Messing around with blinds and curtains, but I really don't get on with curtains in The Sims. I don't find any, like, I, I really struggle to, I don't know, I just struggle with them. I don't think they look right. And I don't know if it's me not using them right. So if anyone has any specific curtain tips and tricks please let me know or point me to any videos you know which are good for that because I suck with curtains yeah I really do Um, I know I'm a new newbie builder really but I've, I've tried to use curtains when I've been just plain in general because I thought oh yeah curtains would be good and I always thought they looked bad Um, I do put some blinds in at the very end of the build so you'll see that so bathroom, um, I put counters in I never use counters in bathroom in the sims because I'm just like get a sink and then we're done, like a stand and sink. But now that I'm trying to be creative and do things aesthetically, aesthetically? Yes, I said that right. Um, I wanted to try out something different. Um, yeah, so we've got some toiletries on the side there. I think that I changed those because I found a really cool sort of basket of toiletries. And I thought that looked good when we're going for the sort of, this is a place someone has booked for the weekend. Um, so I thought it would be nice to have a little basket of toiletries that the, the person who owns the place has put out for you. Um, I had lots of fun doing the bathroom. I think I had more fun doing the bathroom than any other room because um, I liked moving around the, the towel rail and thinking, this is a good height for the towel rail. This is where it would be to be using it. Same with the little toilet roll holder. I thought, yep, this is where you'd be able to reach it when you've done your business on the loo. Um, yeah, so I think that kind of thing is what, what I'm enjoying the most. Also put a little set of towels out there because I thought that is the kind of thing that you'd find in these places. Nice, nice fresh towels. I did like that coat rack when I found it and I thought I want to include this in here. I don't know, I just find like those kind of things or something, uh, well I personally don't have a coat rack at home and I've never really met anyone that does or I've never been to someone's house who has a coat rack but you always find those kind of things are in these places that you you book. There's the little basket I was telling you about. Um, yeah, so I was looking at mirrors as you saw and then I went with these full length ones when I found them and I've definitely, definitely seen this before and it, it's probably from James Turner who I mentioned at the beginning of the video I bet it was him that did it I saw it somewhere and I thought it was a really cool idea so when I found that mirror it sparked the memory of using them in that way so I, I put them in there it looked really cool though I think it looks good I spent ages I've cut this um so you can see me like playing around with TVs and sofas I spent ages in this corner trying to get it right so I cut there we go to what I actually ended up with which was a gray sofa and the TV on the other wall um yeah you didn't want to see me going through all the sofas and all the TVs again that would have took so long so yeah I cut that um I actually really enjoyed doing this corner of the main room so I was looking for a lamp and I ended up finding this one which I thought had a nice modern feel to it I put it next to the sofa in the end and then, oh my God, I'm going to look for a rug in a moment. I remember this. Rugs, they're, they're so difficult and they, there's so many of them. So it is really cool and there's so many different kind of designs and feels, but I wanted a specific sized rug and most of them were too small or too big, but I do find a good one in the end. Um, I saw this one here and I was like, oh, this is modern. But then I thought, well, it's a little bit sci-fi and I don't like it. So we went with this one in the end, which I thought was okay. It wasn't the exact rug I wanted, but I don't think the exact rug I wanted 
exists. So yeah, um, so I really love using move objects to to place things exactly where you want, like the rug there. Oh, glass coffee table, I forgot about that. That's quite exciting. I decided from the beginning of the build that there was definitely going to be a glass coffee table in here. Don't know why, but I just felt like it's... Maybe I'm wrong, but I did feel like it's quite a modern thing to have in a modern styled house. Um, yes, and of course that bookshelf goes with that lamp and it looks good. It's, I think it's quite a modern feeling piece of furniture as well. So that went in there. And I was quite happy with the overall feel of the corner there. So even though a lot of the things I've picked go with the modern feel, I still think that corner looks quite cosy and nice, um, which is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So that's great. So I hope you guys agree who are watching at home. I realised I forgot to put a stove in the kitchen, so that's why I'm doing it now. It wasn't just me, like I was saying earlier, I'm jumping around and going back to places later. I just totally forgot um, and just realised at that point. So, yeah, put the stove in and, yeah, again, I went back to decorations and I think from this point on, I'm just sort of fleshing out the place with decorations and adding the last minute things to the inside. Oh, I really like this idea. I know this has probably been done loads of times by people, but putting the the dressing gowns on the back of the door there I thought was good yeah so I think at this point I was just looking for things to make the place look a bit more finished off a bit more pretty I guess is maybe the word to use now you might not have seen that there because it was quite quick but if you look on the glass coffee table I've popped down a little book I found in the decorations and it has a pen with it as well and I thought it would be really nice because when you go to these places, there's always like a guest book. You can you can read what other guests have said about the place and you can add your own little bit. Uh, yeah, so that's what that was. So that was the idea of that anyway. We also have a foosball table. I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of entertainment in there since we had a, a bit of space as well to fill. Had a little table for two because like I said, this is a holiday home for two people and their dogs. And oh yeah, pans. I really like these, but... I felt like the, the size they came was a bit too big and the size down was a little bit too small, but I went with the size down in the end. And I think, I think they look okay. But it just, it is so nice. And I never used to be like this. I used to be like, what are all these decoration thingies for in The Sims? Because I always used to just go in and play The Sims. And I do enjoy building things. I, I am a creative person. So I don't know why it didn't appeal to me in the first place because... I'm totally into that kind of thing. But I would be like, oh, this doesn't have a function in game. So it just looks good. Why Why would I want it? And now I'm kind of like, oh my God, I really love all the decorations. I want them all. Um, and yeah, all the little bits I'm really enjoying now. So that's good. Now here is a bench I put um, in the sort of foyer area. It's not really a foyer, is it? It's too small. But I just imagined this being a place where you could put your shoes on after a nice walk. Speaking of walks, I found this little shelf thing that had dog leads hanging from it and I thought that was nice. I was a bit sad though because you can't place anything on top of it and it looks like a shelf. So I wish you could put, I was trying to put books on there but it just, it wouldn't work. So I gave up on that. And I think now it is literally the final touches. I started placing lights in the kitchen. I made these really small because in, in kitchens usually, ones I've seen, they have those little spotlight lights usually. Um, ended up putting too many in and it was too bright so I took some away then I wanted one of these sort of long and dangling type um, lights for above the, the foosball table and I thought that worked quite well um, it is a little bit sort of what you might see in a, a not residential lot but I thought it looked okay even though it was a residential place so there's only really finishing touches left to do inside the building. So I am going to be quiet for now and I'll be back when I move outside to do the outdoors area. So I really actually had a really good time doing the outside of the building. At first I didn't, so the first few things you'll see me doing here I actually did on the same night as I did the interior. Um, but it was too late to continue so I came off and I was feeling a bit like I hadn't done the best job of the outside. I know it's not bad, I know I'm not terrible or anything like that, I just think 
I, I was a bit like, this isn't what I was expecting, it's not what was in my head. So I was a bit disappointed, but it was late, I came off, and then I finished the recording the night after. So what you're seeing now is what I did on the same night, but when I came back the next day, I don't know what happened, my brain was just in another level I guess or another it was it was fresh and suddenly I had a different idea of what I wanted to do with the outdoor area and I think and I hope you guys will agree that it actually looks really really good and um, I think the outside ends up being better than the inside so this is this is just when I'm about to cut that I decided when I came back on I'm gonna have a load of trees at the back and loads of like overgrown bushes and grass and stuff and just make it sort of like backing onto not quite a forest but just nice wildlife and and that kind of thing and I just I thought that would be really nice so you probably saw me earlier as well I popped in a barbecue and a little table for outside I thought that was sort of you know kind of standard something nice somewhere nice to sit outside if you're going to be here in the summer for example which is probably the most often time this place will be hired yeah so I was quite proud of myself and I've watched a few videos on people building things so I've probably took a lot of inspiration from that about placing items on top of items because it does end up working quite well so I went with long grass and I, I changed the size of it so that it looked a little bit different in places added ferns in places and bushes around the place and honestly at this point I was well in my element I was really happy I was loving doing this sort of outside area I put a bench in there as you can see and it looks quite nice but in my head I was like I'm gonna put a swing seat here and it'll be amazing that's exactly what needs to be here a swing seat that's why I was putting the trees in a little curve so there was a little private area for the swing seat but yeah unfortunately I could not find one perhaps there is one and that's why I thought there was one in another pack that I don't have or in a different version of the sims I don't know yeah the front I was trying to do a little walkway to the front door but then I thought dirt track is probably better than these pre- determined predetermined is not the right word but you know what I mean stone pathways and I went over it with the grass terrain tool after I'd used the dirt terrain tool just so that it didn't look too defined and then it ends up looking quite good so here I was trying to make sort of this is where you park your car area but not quite a full-on driveway um in the end at first it looked a bit too strong but in the end after I went over it a little bit it actually looks all right I'm actually quite proud of that bit Sorry, I said the word actually too many times, but that's okay. I came back to here because I noticed the terrain tool was the same as that um, stone I'd used. And I thought it would be good to make it look a bit worn and around the edges and like it's been there a while. Um, it's not the most even. And I know it's not meant to be perfectly even, but after I came back and watched this video when I was editing, I realised it doesn't look quite right, but it still looks okay. So I'm fine with it, but I might go back and fix that later thought it'd be nice to make it a bit more private by putting a hedge around the whole garden so that the back area the back garden area is totally private and you have to go through the house to get there and the more I built this the more I was like I want to go here I'm really jealous of this non-existent place that I've built in the sims yeah I thought I'd put a few more plants around the front sadly though I didn't notice that those massive flower bushes were poking through into the inside but I do go I don't know if you'll see it in this video but I did afterwards go and um, fix that oh yes I also placed some rocks around in the garden as well because I thought that looked quite good so we're coming to the end of the build now so I'm going to be quiet once again so that you can see the final finishing touches of the outdoor area
Okay guys, this is the very last part of the video and I just wanted to show you sort of from a first person point of view, I've loaded a sim into the, the live mode of this house. Um, just go through the house very quickly so you can see some of the bits that might have been passed over very quickly in the time lapse. So let's head in. Um, oh yeah, you might have noticed there's some blinds here. I did do that while I was recording the time lapse, but I did like how it ended with the outdoor area and it was after that. So I just sort of left that bit and thought I'll show you it now. So we've got these really long blinds there, so they're new. Oops, just make sure I'm downstairs. Um, yeah, so we'll go in, we've got that foyer area that I was mentioning while I was building it. Um, and then it goes into the main chunk of the house we've got the foosball table we've got the nice cozy living area with the guest book um tv and everything and the kitchen one thing i will note is because i'm going to upload this so that people can download the build if they want to um the kitchen is not currently working um and what i mean by that is they are not able to continue cooking food if they need to chop it up they're complaining there's nowhere to do it when there is and i've moved things around just in case it was because of this dodgy thing i did with the overlapping um counters so i don't know why that is and i don't know if i've done something wrong i've tried moving the benches around nothing does seem to be working um at the moment so hopefully that will be fixed later if not um let me know if you fix it if you download this i'm not sure what was going on with that let's pop into the bathroom i think you've pretty much seen this place quite uh close up while i was building but yeah really love the effect these mirrors have i think it's great uh yep toilet shower you know all the basics um and then if i just go back around into the bedroom we've got the bedroom and there's a few extras there you might have saw me placing in the time lapse but i do think these pile of towels are quite good to have dotted around in the bathroom and the bedroom in a place that's meant to be a place you book for the weekend you know like a, a guest room um, yeah, let's head outside. If we got, there's a sim in the background. Oh, the trees are disappearing, so you don't really get the effect. But I added this little toy box for dogs, which I thought was a nice touch. Um, well, when you're zoomed in, this, this bit doesn't look as good as I thought it would. But maybe if I just spent a bit more time ironing out the edges, it might look okay. So I might come back to that later. But anyway, that's it, really. Um, I'll zoom out there so you can actually see the whole build with the trees, because it seems to be... Uh, struggling with the trees when we're, we're zoomed in there so yeah that's the whole build i hope you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed making this video so thank you guys for watching up to this point and i will see you guys next time i'm definitely going to be doing more of these if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see me do or a challenge put them in the comments below um, have a lovely day and i'll see you later bye